I'm rolling up my sleeves because we are in the kitchen now cooking something perfect for spring, which is heading our way. The Barking Frog at Willow's Lodge is up in Woodenville, and their executive chef joins me now, Dylan Herrick. Welcome to New Day Northwest. Hi, ah, thank you for having First me today. First time having you. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah it's so great. So what are we making today? Uh, so today we're going to um, kind of showcase this early spring moment that we have. We got some uh, beautiful Columbia River steelhead. Okay. Uh, it's when it starts running through through, and, and the fish is really, really good during, yep. when it's cold out. Uh, that fat content is just a lot better. Uh, it's going to be served with some uh, some root vegetables uh, in different applications. Okay. So, but first you're just, so, excuse me, so searing first it. First I'm going to sear this salmon. Okay, okay. And your induction burners are a little bit weak here. I like, know. I got, I got, I got one <laughs> ready for later. <laughs> I but love yeah, you yeah, called yeah, this out. Yeah. All the time so I say, you know. So just imagine a nice sizzle right now. Okay, there, it's <laughs> yeah, usually yeah. sizzling. Yeah. Now our, I will say our stove, it's a little tricky. It gets a little <laughs> tricky, you know, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you got a little bubble. Got a little, a little, little sizzle going on there. Um, you know what I learned? You know, I like to teach chefs certain things. Yeah, yeah, Which you probably hear right now. Is take a little piece of something and you put it in there and if it bubbles it's ready to go yeah it is oh, that's yeah. true so, yeah so and then like, there's like the, there's a wooden spoon trick too so now i'm throwing some uh, early spring morels in here those are beautiful uh, yeah these are coming from uh, northern california right now actually okay. uh and it's kind of nice because it's a one one dish pickup yeah so imagine like sizzle 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 we got smoke 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 you're gonna get that <laughs> nice brown and we're actually gonna just, just cook it all on one side right here okay um, so on one side can yeah, i ask one side you of the fish really yeah, quickly just that flesh side what um so not the skin side Yes, not skin side. Clear. If this was a skin on steelhead, I would cook it uh, skin side down. Okay. Basically the whole time so it gets really, really crispy. So you're not going to flip it? Not going to flip it. No, we'll, we'll base it with a little bit oh, of butter. Okay, I get you. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. Um, really quickly though, before mm -hmm. we move forward, what did you put? Is it just oil in there so or So this butter? is a little bit of pan spray that I had. And then okay. we'll actually, so I'm serving this with uh, some Snohomish, uh, some Snohomish Bee Company honey. Ooh. So it's a local honey. Okay, it's, a, it's a blackberry honey. All right. And I made a compound butter with that. So we'll actually put some of that in the pan and kind of kind of right. with All that. All right. I will yeah, let you so, continue now. Yeah. So, so once you get going, the, the morels start to cook down. Okay. Uh, you can add um, some garlic in there. A little garlic. And then I brought some some shallots to just chop on camera because when ch chefs do the <laughs> chop chop, it's so fun, right? I like that. You know what? The transparency wow. with my friend here. I mean, I'm, you're just showing off, actually. You should see how long it takes me to cut something. <laughs> Look, no, um, no eyes either. Oh, no yeah. eyes, no, no hands, Ma, no hands. <laughs> uh, yeah, so okay. throw, throw some shallots in there. Why shallots and, and not red onions? Uh, shallots are just a little more aromatic. They're a little bit more mild. Uh, so yeah, so punch in the face. yeah, not as punchy in the face. So they just okay. do themselves well or something like All this. Right. Okay. Uh, and then over in this pot right here, already getting warm. Um, this is a parsnip puree. So okay. so our root vegetables today. We got a few different applications. Mm -hmm. We got this root, uh, this parsnip puree, which basically. So what you do for this is you just take garlic shallots, sweat them down a little bit. Okay. Uh, add your parsnip to that, and about equal parts cream to uh, parsnips. Okay. And just let that cook down until they get really really soft, and you blend it all up, and it creates this like super super smooth texture, which is really really beautiful. I'm gonna warn you and our viewers out there that it's. I don't know if. It, you're the same, but you know when you smell garlic and onions cooking, like instantly you're hungry. My stomach's about to start growing. Yeah, who needs so a dinner bell gonna, when you got that I, smell, I'm huh? just going <laughs> to. Uh, okay, and then in here, so this is the other application of root vegetable. I've got some uh, purple potatoes that are just uh, okay. roasted, kind of coined up and roasted. This is fingerling potatoes okay, like that we, potato. we steam off and then roast. Okay. Uh, we have some sweet potatoes that okay, are roasted. I like that. Yeah, so a little one of each root vegetable. So you just pre-roast all these puppies. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the, and this is why you can pick it up one pan when it's all when time it's to already go, you done, know? Okay, so yeah. it's a good dish for at home. Uh, these are some parsnips okay. and some carrots that we actually, we have a short rib dish on the menu at the Frog Ooh. right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. And so these are actually braised in that short rib jus. Okay. Bread, okay. Bread wine. Aromatics and stuff like that. And yeah. so <clears throat> mushrooms don't take that long to cook, obviously. So they just kind of sit in no, there with no. it. Yeah, they, they can work out. And then uh, you always kind of, when, when you're working with mushrooms, you always want to give them a little salt because that salt will pull out the moisture. Right. Those mushrooms Because that's what they do, mushrooms. They like to eat moisture. They like to eat moisture. Yes, they do. So I'm going to actually steal a little, because I didn't bring a pad of butter for myself. So I'm going to steal a little bit of this, the quenelle of this honey butter. I that really want to just taste to, that. To finish the dish. Um, yeah, so this actually, I kind of picked this dish for you today, too, because mm -hmm. uh, one, the, the Columbia River Steelhead right now is just gorgeous. Right. And then um, I'm actually at um, uh, Taste Washington coming up. I'm doing yeah, the tell grand, me about that. Yeah, the grand tasting on the 16th, so about a 1,000 people coming through, and, and mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot of, here you go, here you go, here you go. But I'm actually doing the center stage, uh, that event, too. Oh, so, that's so I'll fancy. be doing, like, a live cooking so dinner. So you're fancy. Yeah, in the, I mean, I try to be sometimes. I get it, I get it. My wife thinks I'm fancy. Yeah, I, I think she's, so. yeah, and so, but that's awesome. As long as your wife thinks you're fancy, you're in <laughs> yeah, good yeah, that's shape. Yeah, that's all that matters. My wife and my and my daughter, my my Aww, son, my how son can think of. So I got I got uh, two kids actually. I got a uh, almost 11 year old boy uh -huh. and an almost three year old girl. Aww. And we wait, we waited a while in between, but it's I, nice. Big brother loves well, taking care. Well, here I'd like to yeah. cheers to your yes, kids. Let's do this. 
Yeah. So this is a wine that actually pairs with this dish. It does, yeah. So this is a simple Sauve Blanc. Mm -hmm. uh, I also brought a two Vintner Syrah. Both Ooh. pair with okay. this dish nicely. Um, the the Sauve Blanc is a, the go-to on this, honestly. Uh, yeah. And it kind of picks up on the vegetable notes in this dish uh, oh, I really, love really that. well. But then also it brings the Christmas. All right. Well, well so. cheers to cheers you. To the cheers kids. to the kids. Cheers Thank to the family. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I love a Sauve Blanc. Oh. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it's that's like good. Perfect time of year when the when the yeah. when the sun starts to come back. Okay. Sorry, so, I think we're, our parsnips getting a little hot here. Yeah, we can just turn that one off. Yeah, then. Let me just Let's pull go. that Thank off the, the burner. Thank you, sous chef. Yep. Uh, so I mean, we can start to build now too. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So what um, else do you have at the Barking Frog? Uh, so bar our, our menu changes um, uh, pretty consistently. Mm -hmm. We've always kind of taken the mindset of kind of uh, four changes a year, but we're, I think we're trying to take a different approach this year and kind yeah. of let it be more organic because we're working with so many beautiful yeah. farms and stuff like that. And we don't want to be pigeonholed into like being committed to this one dish for, for X amount of months, you know? So we're well, going gonna to start like switching out little things here I, and there. I appreciate that because that's how it should be, right? It should yeah. be seasonal food, what's in right now, not whatever. Absolutely. Well, and um, it's a huge focus for me to uh, work really closely with these farmers and purveyors and stuff Yeah, like that, I, so. I hear that. Um, yeah. well, I'm out of forks, but I do. Oh, no, I was right here. You brought me one. Look at you. Yeah, um, and I brought, I brought the flatware I, as well. We're about out of time, but I want to ask yeah. you about the um, elderberries that so, you put oh, yeah. on this. Yeah, so that's, I'm a huge so fan of anything elder. So these are lacto-fermented elder. elderberries. So okay. lacto-fermentation, what it is, is you just put um, uh, really any sort of vegetable or fruit, um, and it's just salt water. And you use a very specific um, percentage of salt to water. Okay. Uh, for these ones right here, it's a 3% uh, salt ratio. Okay. Uh, and you just let them sit in that um, uh you got to let the gas sort of escape, and it creates a, a healthy bacteria called lacto, 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 lactobacilli. Yeah, which um, well, uh, it's got really, really good for your gut health. Right then, and I like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. There um, you go. And then I don't need it. Whoops. I don't need to put the uh, the pretty the pretty leaves and stuff on. But this is what it looks like. So it's the, pretty. Yeah. This yeah. Is that, what, that's finished. I just want you to if, try it. But if you ate this at my home or at Zach's home with the kids running around, this is how it would look, and this looks amazing. You probably do it better than that. I'm sure. I don't think I would, but I'm going to try it. I'm so excited getting in there. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I've never had anything quite like that before. Awesome, love it. Yeah, and that's that's that cold water that the uh, the mm. Columbia River uh, still. Oh my god, that's right good. Now. I want to. Yeah, keep they got to work this. a little harder so that so that fat content. Mm. Yeah, you guys, this is great. Go try it.